Hi, Paul Howe, CSAT Way 107 drill. Probably my, my most favorite drill for the rifle that includes all my mechanics, has cardio stress, and I'm going to give you some different variables for this. So, what you need to do this drill is rifle, 50 rounds, and then you can do it tennis shoes, boots, you can bring different equipment, and we'll talk about that. I also, buy a cheap timer, and what I use this for is to figure out my times, my splits. So, what the drill encompasses is I drop here, go prone, make one shot. Go to 75 kneeling, one shot. I run to 50 kneeling, one shot. 25 standing, one shot. Run to seven, do a surgical head shot. Then I jog back. What I do with the timer is I let it roll. And what I do is I want to target two minute laps. That's just what I do. Now I start, and anytime you start a drill, you want to start slow and build up. So don't worry about doing full 10 drills at one time. Start with five. And I'll actually start walking. So start slick, rifle, ammo, you can go with tennis shoes. As you build up and you want to try it one day, you can add gear, you can add boots. You can start with a light bag, you can do a chest pack. If you're a SWAT guy, you can wear all your gear, helmet, gloves, all that. And what you're going to do in this drill is practice every fundamental of marksmanship. You're going to practice your cardio. You're going to roll into positions, set up a position, hit natural point of aim, all those fundamentals. So what happens is we start here at 100. I've got a mat, my ammo, and then what I'm going to do is drop down, make one shot, but use all those fundamentals of marksmanship and how to get up out of position, clear my rear, and do all those great things, and then check my hits on target. So we've got to have a zero first. So my rifle should be zeroed. Everything should be, be good. What I'm going to do is cut this, and then we're going to start hot. Hi, Paul Howe, CSAT Wave. We're going to start with the 107 prone position. So what I do is I'm going to shoot this just one shot, move out of position, show you how I set up, how I do my times, all that. So today I'm shooting a 300 hammer. What I'm going to do is use this weapon for hunting and different purposes, self-defense. So what I want to do is run through the, the paces to make sure it works. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and load it up, push, pull, do all my same mechanics. What I want to do is reinforce everything that I do on a flat range. So. It's there, I come up, I get seated. Whew. Ears are in, we're gonna go hot. What I'm gonna do is take my timer, and set it up, as soon as I hit my start button, I'm rolling into position. All right, stand by. Whew. Get natural point of aim, front hand, back hand, head eye position. Clear my battle space, got a second sight picture, we're moving. All right, as we're coming into position, I'll do a short stutter step. I hit my front foot, drop down. I blow it all out. I'm getting on target. Clear my battle space, and we gotta move. All right, we're coming up to 50, short steps, plant. Sit your elbow up on target, natural point of aim. Clear your rear and boom. As we roll up to this one, this is standing position. Again, short steps, load your feet, weapon up. And we move. Again, short step, standing position. Up. Clear my battle space, and I'm gonna roll back. Now, a couple things I wanna bring up. Can you follow me to the target? Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> All right, do a little quick diagnostic. What I did is I ran that. This is the worst time of the morning to run it for iron sights, it's in the sun. So two positions, what I, I could do is make the outline of the whole target, the white, and I, I picked center mass and broke the shot. So these low shots here, what I'll tell you, are probably 175, 50. And then when I got to stand, standing at 25, I could actually make a better uh, outline and I could break the shot here. What I'm doing is seven yard offset. We gotta be able to do that. So, every fundamental of marksmanship we cover here, we, we do prone, everything, kneeling, kneeling, 
standing and a offset I want to put a bullet in that pasty just like a bad guy's eye at a, at a seven yard inside the room line of sight line of bull offset and make a good solid hit this drill will cover all those now what we've got to add in is a cardio now so what I'm going to do is these are spliced together shot individually then we're now we're going to put it together as a whole package and shoot it start to finish I'll see you guys at the hundred Hi, Paul House, you sat way. We're gonna put the 107 drill together now in a package for a time. So we're gonna run it start to finish. Camera will follow me. I'll give you a little bit of dialogue at the end. All right, we got eyes, ears, weapons loaded. Timer's going. Clear battle space, we gotta go. All I do is get down, do it again. Right now, time 139, probably a little too fast. Notice when I got up there, pulled one out. It could have been kneeling position, but we'll see. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna recap this drill. All right, this is for you SWAT guys out there, and so you civilians don't watch this. What you can do is separate your guys. You got a five person team. You could run this as a team, get a little bit of separation. Everybody runs online and you just keep doing it and everybody runs back as a group. So you can work it as a team drill as well if you got five guys on your team, six guys on your team. This is plenty room to get, it, uh, to get this done. The other thing is it's gonna teach you muzzle awareness and muzzle discipline around people, keeping that rifle at a low ready position while you're moving. All right, Paul Howe again here, 100 recap and 107 drill. All right, some things I want to bring up. Caught my breath, did a 139, a little too fast. I should be shooting for a 150 to two for where I'm at in life. It'll help clean up my shots and then still put me around 20 minutes. So 20 minutes for 10 laps is my overall goal. Couple things, combat mindset, we push forward. So this is helping you push forward. You can run, outrun your cardio, which means you get in position, you can't make a shot. You're breathing too hard. So it teaches you to load into that position, which means do a stutter step, shorter steps, get in position, remember those fundamentals. Bringing up fundamentals, you need to have a basic class down of standing, kneeling prone. That will help you solve all these issues here at these interval positions. And what you wanna do is practice those positions. Can you dry fire this? You bet. What I did this week to prep for this is I actually ran it each day and what I did, I didn't fire a shot. I just work my fundamentals of marksmanship at each position, and then if I really wanted to, I could fire the last drill, say number 10, and shoot one round, and then be done. In these times of uh, everybody's ammo is scarce, what you can do is get a lot out of that dry fire, and then just shoot one bullet each to confirm your zero, and make sure your weapon works. So that's another option out there. You don't have to shoot all whole 50 rounds. You can just do five. Tires. We have tires here you can drag. 
if you really want to add a dimension to it, we, we've got a harness with a tire. We can drag a tire this whole distance and just walk it and then walk it back. That is an added dimension you can do. So you can work tires with this and you may just want to do five laps with tires. Again, I don't know your, your physical. So always start slow and then build your way up. This will work for a civilian. This will work for a patrol officer. This will work for a SWAT guy. We're, we're trying to maximize time, training time, and get our cardio in at the same time. This drill will do it. Again, you can move it about 2,000 yards. You can do it slick, patrol gear, SWAT gear. And then you're getting your cardio in, making shots, doing great things, keeping America safe for democracy. So, again, thank you for watching this. Hope this tips helped you out, and I will see you guys on the range. Hi, Paul Howe, CSAT Way. I want to thank you folks for watching all our channels. So we have the YouTube. We have free content on the CSAT Way Facebook. If you want precision shooting techniques, go to the Patreon, CSAT Patreon site. For training, we have dedicated. We have private training. We have regularly scheduled classes. So you just let us know what you're interested in, and we can help you out. We look forward to seeing you folks on the range. You take care. Be safe.